Picture this. You're dressed in your finest attire, sitting at a white tablecloth covered table and eagerly awaiting your meal, which has been billed as the height of luxury. But as you take your first bite, you realize it's a total disaster. This is the story of the biggest flops in luxury meals history. From thousand dollar pizzas to truffle coated fries that left a bad taste in everyone's mouth. Let's start with the infamous $1,000 pizza from Nino's Bellissima in New York City. This pizza, touted as the world's most expensive, included six types of caviar, lobster tail, and of course, gold flakes. But despite the over-the-top ingredients, the pizza failed to impress diners. Customers complained of a lack of flavor and texture, and many felt that the pizza was more about the display of wealth than the quality of the food. Next up, we have the $295 French fries from Serendipity 3 in New York City. These fries were coated in truffles, cooked in pure goose fat, and served with a side of Mornay sauce. Sounds pretty luxurious, right? Well, not so much. Diners criticized the fries for being greasy and underwhelming, with many saying that they tasted no different from regular fries. Moving on to the $167 burger from Fleur by Hubert Keller in Las Vegas. This burger featured Wagyu beef, truffles, and foie gras, all served on a brioche bun. While the burger may sound impressive, many diners were left disappointed by its lack of flavor and overly indulgent toppings. If you have made it this far and are enjoying the video, subscribe and turn on video notifications. Leave a like and drop a comment down below on which luxury meal flop you think is the biggest. Let's not forget about the $25,000 hot dog from Capital Dog in Sacramento, California. This hot dog was made with premium beef and was topped with truffles, foie gras, and caviar. But despite its high price tag, the hot dog failed to impress diners, who complained that it was too rich and that the toppings overpowered the flavor of the meat. Finally, we have the $2,400 spaghetti at Bice in New York City. This dish featured lobster, shrimp, and truffles, all served on a bed of spaghetti. But despite its impressive presentation, diners found the dish to be underwhelming and lacking flavor. The $10,000 truffle-infused ice cream. In 2007, Serendipity 3 in New York City introduced the world's most expensive ice cream sundae, priced at $1,000 but they didn't stop there. The following year, they decided to up the ante and offer a truffle-infused version for a whopping $10,000. The dessert was made from Tahitian vanilla ice cream, covered in gold flakes and drizzled with Amity chocolate sauce, all topped with a rare Italian dessert truffle. However, despite the prestigious ingredients, the dessert failed to impress the connoisseurs, and it was soon discontinued due to lack of interest. The Norma's restaurant in La Parker Meridian Hotel in New York City offered a $1,000 frittata, which included a dozen eggs, a full lobster, and 10 ounces of Sevruve caviar. The dish was introduced back in 2004 and became famous for its outrageous price tag. However, it didn't receive many orders, and in 2013, the restaurant finally removed it from their menu. In 2010, Gordon Ramsay introduced a $178 pizza to the menu of his London restaurant, Maze. The dish was topped with white truffle paste, three types of cheese, onion puree, and a generous helping of smoked salmon. However, the pizza received widespread criticism for having too many oily toppings that overpowered the delicate taste of the salmon. After only a few months, the pizza was removed from the menu due to poor sales. In 2012, the sushi chef Angelito Araneta Jr., a.k.a. Koi, created the world's most expensive sushi roll consisting of five pieces flavored with five different kinds of caviar and gold leaf. The sushi roll was priced at $1,200 and was only available for a limited time at his Koi restaurant in Bryant Park, New York City. However, the luxury roll wasn't a hit, and the restaurant was left with many unused caviar and gold leaves. In 2011, the DB Bistro Modern in New York City introduced the world's most expensive burger, priced at $295. The burger contained Wagyu beef, foie gras, and black truffle shavings. However, the dish fell short of expectations, with many diners complaining about the overwhelming richness of the burger. 
the restaurant later lowered the price and renamed the dish as the original DB Burger, which is still available on their menu today. So what went wrong with these luxury meals? In many cases, these meals seemed more focused on displaying wealth and excess than on delivering quality cuisine. The ingredients may have been expensive, but if they don't come together to create a delicious meal, then what's the point? Additionally, many of these meals seem to lack a sense of balance. Indulgent toppings like truffles and foie gras can easily overpower the flavors of the other ingredients, leaving diners feeling disappointed and unsatisfied. Overall, these biggest flops in luxury meals history serve as a reminder that good cooking is about more than just expensive ingredients. It's about the right balance of flavors and textures, as well as creating something that's enjoyable and memorable. So before you spend a fortune on a fancy meal, make sure to do your research and read reviews. You may just save yourself a disappointing experience.